Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Show them come numb star, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Um, what's up, what's up, what's up, click? Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a newbie, a warm, warm, warm welcome to you. If you're a regular daddy, like you've been there with me, you've been through everything with me. What's up? It's good to have you back. I'm good to I'm glad to be guys. Like honestly guys, when you guys say you missed me, I missed YouTube. I missed like sitting in like in front of the screen i miss talking to you guys i miss vlogging for you guys but honestly honestly i missed like having a platform to speak you know and not type like your instagram because i hardly like have conversations on instagram or since yeah it's the only app that allows videos selfie videos and those kind of things you guys know what i'm saying right <sighs> deep sigh like this video now i've been thinking like when i tell you guys that every single day of this week i've been thinking about where am i gonna start what am i gonna say um what shouldn't i say um but more than anything just to be myself just to relax not to overthink and pretend as if like i'm talking to one of my friends i'm venting for starters guys my mic stopped working like my mic my mic literally stopped working i was about to give up guys i was just about to be like you know what? it's a sign maybe i'm supposed to do a nine to five job i can't say the i don't know and not even just with that with so so many things guys like with everything that i was going through this year like from beginning of the year till now like i felt like i shouldn't like open up i'm scared to open up with so many events that have taken place right it's like in as much as i can block certain people off my instagram my tiktok my twitter like someone's just always there watching and it got to a point where i was like i don't even like i don't know what to not share because people are just waiting for you like to not make it people are, are waiting for your downfall people are waiting for your relationship to fail people are just like people are just lurking bro like people are literally just lurking and it's it got to a point where i was like okay and as much as i don't care but i'm like i i, I really don't want to give people like any satisfaction not even satisfaction it's just creepy guys it's so creepy that these people that like are stalking me like i'm not even like trying to like sound like a famous person or a celebrity or whatever or trying to be like you know feeling myself or whatever but there's genuinely people that are like stalking me and i found out like it's not that someone will say hi i'm stalking you but you just know with the things that people that they say to other people and then eventually it gets to you you know what i'm saying also this thing of avan ben wafuna ban betu guys ngalqela to control an abafaz ben guys like it's so wild it is so wild like i can't believe i'm still dealing and in fact i don't deal with people i'm just still hearing things that this person is still somewhat in someone that i love that i love life yes or oh, trying to get into their life like it's been three years bro like it's been three years. guys it's been three years my sister tie your shoes and move my god but anyways we're not ranting today we're just you know having a chill session but it's one of those things man like people are literally like lurking like people are not supporting and i'm like in as much as i can block them off social like other social platforms youtube any and everyone is watching me any and everyone is watching me i can't see views i can't see who viewed i can't do anything i can't protect my privacy like 
sometimes I feel like like people are just invading my privacy like it got to that point guys it literally got to that point where i'm just like but this is high key invasion of privacy like how are you keeping tabs on someone's life like how are you keeping tabs you know when they're not okay with their partner you know where they are you know when this and that you know like how is that normal like it's giving desperado it's giving d for desperate like it's giving obsessed no like no <gasps> like at first i just be like and the stalker accounts and whatever messages and whatever i just be like ah whatever it's okay i don't care who you are whatever watch because i want you to see what you want to see i'm gonna give you what you want to see but i was just like and i think it, it 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 hit me when i was hospitalized like i mentioned in my vlog that i was hospitalized um because of a depressive episode i had like a depressive episode that i i won't get into but um people that i used to go to church with like started like texting my mom or like texting people that are close to my mom and then it got to my mom you know and i was just like if you really care like you know what's going on right number one you saw on my status or on my story or whatever or my twitter or whatever you saw that so why don't you come to me why are you like making speculations about what happened why i'm in hospital or why like how are you so worried but you're going to my mom or you're going to a third party even worse you understand to say i'm worried about celine what not what not like why don't you come to me the guts that you have to view my story has to be the same cut that you have to come and face me and ask me hey are you okay you know and for me there's nothing offensive about that it's just offensive when it's malicious and i know people's intentions like i see who watches me on instagram like i i'm very observant very ask any and everyone who knows me i'm the most observant person that you can ever find trust and believe trust and believe so i see i'm like okay there's certain followers that are like genuinely like my content there's certain followers that are just there to like like to lurk and to look at what i'm doing there's certain followers that are there to stalk and then go and tell other people on their behalf you know what i'm saying so when i was hospitalized things just took a left I, I even in the midst of that in fact before that i had lost a friend like even during my like depressive episode um period there were certain people where i felt like could have been there you know like there's people who till date have never asked like celine why were you in hospital i'm so tired of like trying to put this front that like i'm working on myself in as much as that in as much as i am but i don't want to like portray that that's what i'm actively doing i'm actively reading the bible i'm actively going to church i'm actively like meditating i i, I don't i don't want to pretend anymore and i think that's why everything just came to a standstill because i was doing so much for content that like behind closed doors i was not even doing it you know what i'm saying so i'm like mm -mm, why am i doing this you know like when last did i read the bible you guys would be really surprised when last did i pray okay i don't I, I don't think i've it's been a minute i just talk to god now like i'll just be like hey i'm not okay or hey my tummy is sore or hey this like i don't feel that connection i feel it but i it's not where i want it to be and i'm just like i'm so tired and i think that's why everything just came to standstill. i stopped doing so many things i stopped doing so so many things because I, I feel like i was doing it for the wrong reasons you know like we post so much but behind closed doors we're not practicing the word we're not in the word we're not living by the word we're just posting like i don't know why we're posting but we're posting i mean you know you know what i'm saying so hey guys so hey it was just a lot man and i just i just didn't I, I just felt like i don't want people having access to me anymore 
what do I say then? Then what's going to be my content? Because I've been saying throughout my videos that more than anything, I want to be relatable. I want to be honest with you guys. I want to be vulnerable, you know, but it's scary because people use it against you. Like people generally use your weaknesses against you, you know, like me talking about my relationship, um, me talking about like anything that is. And I hate being a topic, guys. Like I hate being a topic. One thing about me, like I don't like being spoken about. Like don't talk about me. Like don't obviously I'm not gonna go and like rack everyone who's talking about me, but like I immediately block. Like if I find out that you're my follower and you busy bad mouthing me or the things that you're seeing on my Instagram that I'm allowing you to see just by the way. You are now going behind closed doors and like making a hot topic about me. Like cha, I'm not Michali. I'm not the hot topic, cha. Please, <laughs> please, my sister. I am not the hot topic. You know, I hate being spoken about. I hate being gossiped about. And those are things that really, really get to me. Especially with like sensitive matters. Because really, guys, you don't know what people are going through out there. And I just also want to put out there that it's not always relationship from goal that's going to get you like underneath, like down and up um, and under down there by the submarine it's not always going to be the relationship these family problems guys these family problems that i'm currently going through um not even like within yes within but more so like in terms of ammo you know what i'm saying um also the things that i, I don't know if i should say if i shouldn't because like I said, like people use things against you and I don't one day want anyone to have the guts to come to me and say, you said this, um, therefore I'm taking Amu or whatever the case is, you know, and speaking on Amu guys, yo, it's, and the family thing, it's just, it's just been, it's, yo, it's, yo, it's been, the worst it's literally been the worst like i remember like last week i cried there was a day i just kept on tearing up like and my mom even asked like are you okay and as she's asked i'm like shucks and i'm busy tearing up you know like there's so much like it's so tough being a mom and a single mom that is it's 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 tough and one thing i've noticed ne, about males is that there's a few men who will genuinely love their kids when i say genuinely i mean genuinely wholeheartedly because i've noticed how like when when you're no longer okay with the male right or the father of the child or a male in general right the love for the child also tends to fade not even fade but it just it goes and it's like so you you didn't love love your child you loved your child or you loved this child to impress me like be for fucking real bro like are you serious like it's something that I actually noticed and this is like not even just like personally but in general in of like like I'm saying I'm so observant and I analyze a lot of things and like I listen to people and I watch things and I see things and I'm just like this is a trend in black culture man. this is really a trend like people don't genuinely love the child and that's why I said I want someone who's going to love my child more than they love me because you're not doing it for me because when we fall out or when we break up or whatever it's child for the child you know and honestly guys there's nothing like a father's um love or let me rather say a male's love in a child's life like trust and believe that's one thing i fight for my son to have and I fought so hard that eventually it got to me, especially this year. It got to me like 
it's like I, I like i'm trying to impose my love for amu and to people you know what i'm saying like it makes me so happy like when i see people loving on amu when amu's loving on them but also it's tricky because my son like he's still isolated because he doesn't have anyone to play with he doesn't have little siblings he he's always at home watching cartoons or whatever so i'd get really sad when i have to go out with him because i'm like ah, i know he's gonna be nagging i know he's just gonna be stuck like glued to me you know and there, there's been moments where like i felt like crying because i felt alone and i'm like what's wrong with my son is it me and i had to get to a point where i'm like number one he's still young number two he doesn't go to crash well not yet he doesn't go to crash he doesn't have friends so how do i expect him to be social give it time you know um why does he cry when other people hold him and just all of those things and my brother's like to me dude just be patient because he told me a story actually he's like when i was young when we were young right and we'd go to crash and stuff apparently i would cry like the entire time they even had to take me to my brother's like class for like a good like hour 30 minutes 45 minutes for me to like be calm for me to be calm and then once i'm calm i go back so i'm like okay so that like really like it was just a <sighs> moment you know because i'm like okay it's fine like it's okay man it's okay like he's gonna grow he's gonna get used to people he's gonna be a socialite like his mom you know he's still young man like it's not the end of the world okay so i just had to like overcome those kind of feelings and it just those kind those moments just make you more angry you know as to like but where's the dad but where's the help you know what i'm saying um if 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 they were here or if this person was here this wouldn't be happening i wouldn't have to be going through this so that's where the anger starts brewing basically because you're like you should have been here you should be here you know but it is what it is and i just I, I just really want my son to grow up in like a healthy home with two um um parents with with just a healthy just for him to grow up in a healthy place and all my kids that is you know that's just all I wish and that's why it just gets to me because I think I just want things to be so perfect like it's actually in like insane I just want things to be so perfect like everyone must love Amu everyone there Amu must show uh child well with kids when he's around kids like I just want things to be perfect and I just put a lot of pressure on myself at the end of the day because there's certain things that are really above and beyond me that i can't even control i can't force people to be in a part of amu's life i can't force help i can't force love if it comes it comes and just shout out to all those men who 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 genuinely love my son guys like there's nothing that makes me happy like someone people who love my my son honestly speaking like honestly honestly speaking there's nothing that makes me happy as that because i just i don't i never ever want him to feel empty empty the way i've been feeling empty it's just a void that i i i, I don't know if it can ever be filled because it's filled to a certain extent and when that certain extent has run out it's not cute yeah man it's yo guys it's really been a lot like i've 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 genuinely been feeling so so empty like and i'm just realizing that man we're just all going through it hey like sometimes i wish like i could have like i don't know man uh something where like a group whatnot where like we get together on certain days as people and we just come together and we talk about our problems and we see how we can help one another because yo guys we're really all going through it eh? i don't know what's happening but it's not cute it's really not cute but 
yeah i've been yo i've been feeling empty guys i've been feeling so empty i've been feeling alone um I've been sad like these like there's times where I wake up and I'm like damn I'm sad bro like yo this week oh my gosh this week I just wake up and I'm like damn I'm sad I'm just I'm sad like I need to grand I'm sad and in the midst of all that I still have to be a mother and like for instance now he didn't want to come out of the room like I didn't want to come out of the room I had to like I even spoke to him nicely for the first time because I always shouted at Amu like I shouted at him so I'm like Amu please like go like please I'm begging you and just looked at me like this like what in the hell are you saying man but I, I didn't give up I could have easily given up to say ah oh, you see here's another sign that I shouldn't take a video like what else like what does life want from me at this point like what does life want from me you know but it's just important man to have a father figure in your life or a male figure in your life like you can't force a father to be there you can't but it's important to have a male figure in a household like in as much as like we tend to say not everyone's meant to be married not everyone's meant to be whatnot but it's so important when you have kids i've seen it like amu listens to two males in my life two in fact in life not only there's females he listens to ah uh -uh. he listens to two males only and that's my older brother and my boyfriend that's all the rest of us the rest of us uh -uh. and that's when i saw and i'm like damn this is like so important but also you don't want to force relations you really don't want to force relations just because now i'm saying it's important for a child to have a father figure or a male figure in their life you don't have to force but it's just really really advisable and guys like let let's be safe yeah like let's be safe like this thing of teenage pregnancy this thing of having kids before marriage it it does a lot of harm it does so much harm to you um to the child's life and that's one thing i fear like for amu to have traumas that i um that i made you know like i don't think our parents realize that hey do you know that i have this trauma because of you and that's my like constant fear to say i can't have that i never want to want my son to say i have a trauma of abandonment issues because my mom was never there or because my mom never listened to what i had to say or this or this or that you know um I, I, I don't want that i really 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 don't want that for myself and for my son you know there's a certain trauma that i realized i had right um abandonment issues right um from from my dad to be quite honest um he's not there he's messed up he's just he's really he's ruining my life man to be quite honest he's 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 like 90 percent of my problems like he's he's definitely that 90 percent and the rest is like other little things like one percent of this one percent of this but he's the he like he's contributing the most to like how i'm feeling how i've been feeling and he's just caused a lot of damage you know that i think for now i can't really speak about because it's still happening maybe one day when i'm grown i'm in my own place and you know i'm just like hey guys I actually went through this and this and this. The smile that you're seeing, the chubby girl that you're always seeing, was really going through A, B, and C, you know? So what's happening is, right, because I feel abandoned, right, when people do certain things, 
I react or I feel so much because already there's that disappointment that I've felt from for the longest of time. And so when someone adds on to that, I'm just like, damn, like it just, I become so, so explosive. My emotions become so, so explosive. And I don't think people realize that. Like, guys, when you do something to someone and it hurts them, right? Firstly, understand why it hurts them. Secondly, if their reaction seems so like absurd to you, understand why. Because best and believe there's a trauma there. And you've triggered something that was, I can't even say uh, buried. Because clearly it's something that I've noticed comes out all the time. You know, when something happens or when I'm triggered in that aspect. So there's been people in my life, some I've lost you know um because of what we call the silent treatment right even the friend that i i i i i, I lost now the friendship breakup i sent a long message right long message um typed everything after my depressive episode right typed everything whatnot 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 she didn't reply Weeks later, I felt like I carried on feeling like this girl has done this to me before in high school. Where she stopped, we stopped talking for months and she didn't bother. I had to go to her and be like, yo, did I actually miss you? You know, and we're really, really good friends. So, and that's how we rekindled. And again, this time, and it's like, it's, it's a pattern where it's like, I'm constantly fighting for people who are constantly giving me silent treatment like you'll give me the silent treatment right and i'll also like play along but it gets to a point where i can't play along and i'm just like but how are you okay with like not talking to me if you claim to love me how are you okay after i've said this and this has hurt me you've hurt me in this way and you just choose to just be quiet about it and every time we rekindle because i am the one who's coming forth to say hey let's fix this how do you think we can fix this hey what not you know and i texted her recently and i'm like it shows how much you value you valued this friendship you know and it, it it made me so upset because it's like it has happened again it has happened before so clearly you just you generally don't need me in your life you know what i'm saying like when people do that it it, it triggers so many emotions guys you won't even understand it triggers a whole lot of emotions that i can't even explain myself i'll just be really sad re extremely sad and the person oh well we'll talk whenever doesn't matter it's not that much of a big deal anyways but for me it really is but yeah guys i'm just yo i'm doing through a, i'm going through a lot and i'm not even going to therapy I'm not praying, I'm not doing a whole lot of things that I should be doing. Things that I'm noticing about myself and these things that now I'm paying attention to myself. You know, to say, okay, this and this and this. Oh, okay, Celine, you actually like doing this. Okay, Celine, this and this and this, you know. So, I'm just now in the journey of like really finding myself and I'm now choosing to do them privately. Like if I go back to the gym, I'm not going to post. I'll probably post that once in a month or once here. But I've noticed that when you post, you jinx things. And when you say things, you jinx things. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I'm going to be consistent. Guys, I'm going to post whenever I can, whenever I feel like. And just really a shout out to my regular regulars, guys. Yo! Much love. Lord knows those messages of when I come back to YouTube, I miss you on YouTube. Those messages are the reasons why I'm sitting here today. I'm shooting content for you guys. I am filming. I've been talking for a while now. I've really been talking for a while. But thank you guys so so much for watching. Um let's 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 grow guys. Let's grow together. Let's let's support each other. Let's let's do this. Nam Shay. But thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and please, please do subscribe. If you haven't, 1,000, we are coming for you. Before my, my like, guys, this is my birth month, hey? This is my birth month. July is my birth month, and my birthday is on the 31st of July. So, the best birthday gift is for me to be on 1,000 subscribers. Assemblies.
party. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. A unique, a local, a proud East African water brand by a test in pure way that comes from deep within a natural aquifer and is organically filtered to maintain the precise taste that nature intended. Now tell me, why would you want to drink anything else?